My name is Mu Sun. Uh, I'm currently the Chief Operating Officer for AYA Bank, a uh, bank based in Myanmar. Uh, AYA Bank is a, a relatively new bank. Uh, we are just over eight years old. We started in 2011. The growth of the bank has been tremendous and currently uh, we have 234 branches, uh, some 6,500 employees, um, uh, close to 800 ATMs. Our client base is over 1 million yeah, as, it, as it stands today. The core goal now uh, would be uh, to see how uh, we can leverage you know, on our infrastructure. I think the way we have grown, uh, we are more and more focused on the retail business. And while I think the top line growth no, has been very encouraging, uh, I think what we need to do now is to, op uh, to optimize uh, the operations and to leverage on the delivery capabilities uh, uh, of not only the branches, uh, but through the technology that we have. Uh. The mobile penetration in Myanmar is basically over 100% in terms of uh, uh, people with SIM cards and that happened only about in just over three years. So I think you know both you know, OTC transactions, how we handle them uh, for better service and also the seamless customer experience over the, the internet and mobile banking. In terms of products and services, I think we offer the full range of products and services including corporate banking uh, products, uh, things like trade and treasury. So all these actually, uh, the current core system has yes, outgrown the, the current core system. So you know, um, that's why I think we have decided you know, to, to go with uh, uh, or Fitness right now. The uh, solution was uh, uh, quite comprehensive, including the essence. If you look at what um, Finastra uh, corporate channel, you call it, yeah? your e-banking channel, uh, can offer, I mean, this is, this is a classic example of you know, how you provide you know, a multi-channel or omni-channel strategy you know, uh, for your corporates. We, we also bought the Fusion Treasury. And in that part, and a lot of it, uh, our, our, our handling today is uh, quite manual, actually. The market is just opening up. And uh, when the market you know, is, is, is a bit more sophisticated in terms of the products offering, uh, for example, you know, doing forwards or derivatives, uh, then I think you, you need uh, uh, um, a way to handle you know, those transactions uh, in a more effective and productive manner. And that's where I think Fusion Treasury uh, comes into play. Fusion Risk comes in. And uh, of course, you know, usually we're looking at, uh, at a lot about managing our limits, uh, global limits, for example, uh, um, whether it's client you know, credit lines or, you know, uh, country specific or currency specific limits. But going down the line, I think when uh, Basel 2 and 3 kicks in, or 3 uh, kicks in, then you probably need a more robust risk management solution. I think this is a long-term relationship and uh, the idea is to work together yeah, as a partner to see how, how much more I think we, we can collaborate and then grow together.